Hello guys, welcome to my channel Journey to the World of Fairy Tales. Here is this week's tale, Tambolina. Come on then, let's get started right away. Once upon a time, there was a woman living in a very distant country in a town. This woman lived alone, never married, that's why she had no children. But her biggest desire, as always, was to have a children. Especially, she wanted to have a daughter. She longed for this, but of course, she never had a daughter. One day, when a friend told her that there was a fairy she knew and she could make all her wishes come true, the woman immediately went to fairy and asked her, What should I do to have a girl? The fairy gave such a seed to the woman and said, You will take the seed, plant it in a flower pot, you will give it water, keep it in the sun, you will love it. You will see one day you have a baby girl. The woman took the seed in surprise and immediately came home, brought the pot and planted the seed in a pot. What did she do? She watered it, put it on the window you see behind me so that it could see the sun and day by day she started to wait with such an excitement. This pot first started to give a little leaves. Then, after a while, she saw that it started to grow even more. The woman was very excited. Of course, because she wondered if such a thing would happen. After a while, the seed in the pot turned into a huge flower just like that. It was such a different flower. And the woman was kissing the flower every day, smelling it, talking to it. Yes, the flower blossomed one day and there was exactly this child of it. Of course, our lady was astonished and could not believe it. This girl is exactly the size of a finger. She was so happy when she saw her and so happy that she thought it was a miracle. By which name did the woman call this girl because she is a finger tall? The woman called her Tambalina. What did she do with the Tambalina? She loved her so much because she was so small. The woman immediately found something like a walnut shell, prepared a bed for her, then took leaves, then made things like quilts and pillows for her from the leaves. The woman and the finger girl lived together happily in this way. Anyway, one night something happens to them. An ugly frog passing by one night sees the finger girl. He cannot believe in its beauty and likes her very much and thinks that mm, she is a great girl for my son. If I take this girl away, I can introduce her to my son and then I can marry him off. Tossy picks up Tambalina and he kidnaps her. Where? Of course, to a lake. Yes, guys, he brings Tambalina to the lake. As you can see here, um, there is a forest and as you can see, uh, there is a river in it. What do they do in this river normally? Um, there is a flower called water lily in rivers. I'm not sure you heard of it. The flower blossoms spontaneously. It grows right in the middle of the lake or a river. The frog puts our finger girl on this lily leaf. So why does he do that? Because Tambalina will not be able to leave from here. And after all, she cannot swim. She had never swum in her life. Maybe. She, she had never even seen a lake. Anyway, Tumbling wakes up and looks around. Where am I? Where is this place? Oh, it's covered with water. Oh, how am I going to get out here? While Tumbling thinks that way, of course, the frog screams from the finger girl. I brought you her for my son. You will marry him. Marry? I I'm very young. I don't want to get married yet. No, no, you can get out there. You will do exactly what I say. Tumbling starts to cry. She cries and cries and cries. And meanwhile, the fish come to help her. What does that mean? Fish come like this from the bottom of the sea and they start to eat. They eat and finish the stalk under the lid. You know, Tumbling was on it. Since that leaf broke off its root, she drifts along the river like this. And Tambalina looks around. She's glad to survive in the meantime, but she doesn't know where she is. She continues to ride on the lead. 
Anyway, she eventually comes up, gets out of there, looks around. She, she's now in a, such a different forest. Everywhere is shining brightly. She can find anything, but she starts running. As long as she gets rid of the frog sand, it doesn't matter wherever she goes. Oh, great. Tumbling is now afraid and hungry. She doesn't know what to do. She needs to find a place. Her mother is very anxious about her. And it's now dark. She comes to a town. There's a few houses in the town, but she's afraid to go inside. Because after all, would you enter the house of people you don't know? You didn't even knock on the door. She doesn't know who to ask for help. So she goes to something like this and sit down and sleeps like this. And what happens next? Of course, what will happen? Our first character of the tale comes up. Who is our first character? Our first character is a wall. Yes, this is a female wall. What does she do? Let me tell you this. Normally, this wall is a very good template. But what is her only weakness? Hunger. She cannot stand being hungry. In other words, she eats a lot. Anyway, guys, the wall comes to our Tambelina. She sees her and approaches by saying, Oh, beautiful girl, what are you doing here? Oh, Tambelina tells about what happened to her one by one. You are very hungry and very cold. Come on, come on to my house. I have a house here. She says, and she invites her to her home. Tumbling goes with her. They eat there, make friends with her, and warm up to each other in the meantime. And Wall says, look, you can live here with me if you want, but I have only one request for you. You will also help me. I mean, you can do the housework. Tumbling also accept this request, of course, and they both start having a very good time together. Tumbling is away from the her mother, but what happens next? A bad character enters our fairy tale. Mole. Who is this mole? I would like to talk about him a little bit. The mole is very wealthy, has a lot of food. I tell you why food is important in a moment. He has a lot of food. He's bad. He's very ugly. And he's living in tunnels. Moles you know, dig tunnels and live in, in the tunnels. Um, and they don't like light at all. By the way, they don't like the flowers and insects. They like to live in the dark. They build their houses by digging and they live there. Of course, they're underground. The mole is next door neighbor of the wall. What does he see while on the road? Of course, he sees Tambelina and falls in love with her. He looks for ways to find a solution to marry her. One day he comes to the wall's house to meet Tambalina. He meets her, introduces himself to her. By the way, let's put on our glasses to become a mole. Oh, what do we have left? Let's also put on our hair. The mole turns to Tambalina and says, Oh, hello there. What a beautiful girl. You are, I like you very much. Oh, I'm very wealthy, very clever. I have very nice eyes. Uh, as for the subject of food, there's plenty of food. Yeah, I like you very much. I would like to marry you. Tambalin answers. Oh, what are you saying? I don't want such a thing. By the way, the wall is, of course, in shock. So this mole has so many food that he wants to remind the wall of this. Hey, you don't say anything. If I marry this girl, I will give you a lot of food. The wall unfortunately gives up her idea and favors the mole and tries to persuade Tambalina to get married. The mole says, come on. If you want, I'll show you my house. No, it's not necessary, says Tambalina. Uh, why not? Come on, see my house. Meanwhile, guys, the mole and Tambalina have some together. They go towards the tunnel to go home. And meanwhile, Tambalina sees a swallow on the way. This is a swallow lying on the ground without seeing anything. They enter the house with the mole. Anyway, she sees the house and finds such an excuse. Oh, I have to go. I have a lot of work. And she leaves. She will return to the wall's house and 
Yes, children, tumbling the leaves from there, the morning has come, and there is a distant road. And she stopped by Swallow on her way. The poor Swallow lies like this on the ground, and she looks down. Oh, what's wrong with you? Hey, what happened to you? Oh, oh, tell me what happened to you? Oh, oh, do you, what happened? She asks what happens to Swallow answers her. Oh, we normally have to migrate before winter because before the weather gets cold, we need to go, but I'm late. When the weather got colder, I fell to the ground and my wing broke. I don't know what to do. And Tamberlina answers, Oh, don't worry about it. I will help you. Every day I will bring you something and give you food. Anyway, children, one day Tambalina comes to the swallow again, gives water, and so the days pass, our swallow begins to heal. When he starts to recover, he will be able to fly with other countries, the warmer countries, and says to Tambalina, Hey, Tambalina, come with me. Oh, I cannot come. I can't leave the wall alone. By the way, of course, she doesn't know what the wall is doing to her. Oh, um, I can't leave her alone. I promised her I can't go with you, but you go, please. Please. Never forget me, okay? Then the white swallow flies and goes. Poor Tambalina returns to home. When she comes back, the wall says to her, It's enough. This promise has to be done. You have two weeks now. You marry the mole in two weeks. Tambalina answers, what? I don't want to marry him. If you're not getting married, then you get out here. Tumbling doesn't know what to do, and she agrees to marry. And children, two weeks pass so fast that I can't tell you. Two weeks later, Tumbling is very upset. The day has come to marry. And if you ask me why, because from now on, she will live under the ground, and she will not be able to see the sun, see the people, and she will not be able to see anything. She will continue to live under the tunnel in such a dark and boring place. Anyway, in a very sad and terrible way, and she says goodbye to Walt because you were not able to see her again, and Tambaline says, please, if the swallow comes, tell him that I love him very much. Suddenly, a voice is heard. Guys, like this, the swallow comes flying by flapping his wings. He comes to Tambaline and saying, Tambaline, I see you're in a big trouble. Come on with me. Come, let's get out of here. Tambaline looks around and left like this. I better get away from here. Yes, I want to go with you. Please take me, uh, take me. And children, Tambaline flies with the swallow. Tambaline gets the swallow back and the flies away. They go to the warmer countries. I'll take you to an amazing place, the land of flowers. Land of flowers? You will see. So they keep on flying and finally they arrive at a magnificent place. Everywhere is full of flowers to swallow. Say him, which flower shall I leave you to? Flower? Yes, here everyone lives in a flower. So Tambana choose a flower. She chooses this flower. And guys, what happened when she gets into this flower? It turns out that in the land of flowers, Two people live inside each flower as a female fairy and a male fairy. Because this is the land of flowers. The fairies rule this place. There is also a prince in this land of flowers, and he is in the prince of the fairies, but he didn't have a princess. Here is what happened. Luckily, of course, Tumbelina has sat on the same flower where the prince fairy lived. Tambalina sees the prince, of course, the prince sees to her. Meanwhile, the prince fairy has wings like this. Prince fairy says to Tambalina, Welcome! Who are you? I don't know you. I think you are new around here, Tambalina answers. Yes, I come here for the first time. Sorry for bothering you. As far as I understand, everyone has their own place. Don't worry, I'm live alone. I'm the prince of this country. Anyway, they talk to each other. The prince fall in love with her. As in every fairy tales, they make friends for a while. And then the prince asks, Oh, I want to ask something. I cannot rule this country alone. I need a female fairy, a princess, to rule the country. 
Will you rule this country with me? Would you like to be my princess? You know how many marriage proposals Tambalina has received so far? Of course, she also likes the prince because she likes this place and she accepts their proposal. So what do they do next? They start preparing a wedding feast for Tambalina. All fairies, insects, everyone in the land of flowers are invited here. And everyone bring gifts. What do we mean by the gifts? These can be lots of things. For example, honey, um, flowers. And what do they for Tambalina? They crown her. But guess what is the most important gift among these ones? The gift the fly brought, of course. He brings a pair of wings like this so that she can fly. After that, Tambalina can now fly. She flies and flies. Finally, one of the most important things happens, they ask her. Why is your name Tambalina? Is it because you are the size of finger? We cannot associate you with Dean Tambalina, the finger girl. We decided to give you a better name. From now on, we want to call you Maya. And of course, Tambalina loves this name very much. And from now on, they start calling her Maya. Maya and the prince of the fairies live here happily together for life. And of course, we come to the end of this fairy tale. See you next week in a new fairy tale. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.